Hello and welcome back in my reading corner. Well, no, it's not my reading corner anymore. It's on my channel. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again for yet another unboxing. We're looking at the strand and I'm apologizing for all the stuff up here. I wish they would tape it on the back so that the front would be beautiful, but sadly it is not. Anyways, we're unboxing this thing today. Um, yeah, let's dive straight in. So the Strand is a quarterly box that ships from the USA and comes, well, it comes with a newly released book of the genre that you pick. This one behind me is the YA version. Um, the box usually comes with rather diverse reads and it usually contains a second book. Um, usually the main book is a hardcover and the second book is a paperback. With the YA version, I had always had an ARC as well, which is pretty exciting. The box costs $37.50 plus shipping and more about the value, cost, shipping, etc. at the end of the video. So the first product that I see is wrapped in bubble wrap. And it's Maya's Triple Berries Super Premium Syrup. So it is a DIY healthy soda syrup where you put one part syrup and then 10 parts of seltzer. Oh, the nutrition facts are printed so tiny. 30 calories, but I can, they are from sugar. It has sugar in it. That much for healthy, only 30 calories is okay, but it's not that awesome, but... So the six awesome ingredients are raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, water, cane sugar, and lemon juice. So it is naturally vegan, handmade in New York, and I cannot open this. I'm actually surprised that this got through customs, customs to be honest, but uh, I can't open it. Okay, no tasting this. It's interesting. I'm wondering if it's intentionally um, wrapped around like this. Oh, by the way, I love the, you know, where other, where other companies put all those worms in, um, Strand puts this fake newspaper in. It feels like a, a satin paper. It's newspaper and it's all like Strand branded. And this is all they use for padding, um, which is really not much not much compared to other companies. So I like their conscious behavior about this. Okay, the next item. Then we have a game, Flux. Never the same game twice. I've never never heard about this game. I don't know this game. If anybody knows this game and knows if it's fun, please let me know. Um, interesting choice to put in, a, put in a book box. I've always known that Strand is a little bit different. Um, the goodies aren't like expensive, huge goodies, but this is different. Okay. Oh, and for the um, syrup, we have a 10% off when you shop online. So that's good. Go and shop there. I do have to try the syrup to tell you if it's if it's any good though. And I one more try to no okay the last item we have is a little button saying welcome to reality cute nice nothing special let's get to the books yes it's books we again have two books. So the main book of the month is Slay. It's a Strand signed edition. And the, the special thing about the Strand box is that you can always go online and you can see what the next books in the genres are gonna be. So you will not be surprised if you want to. If, of course, you wanna be surprised, don't click on the link. So we again have a diverse read. I think um, it is about um, somebody who's like gaming. 
Kira Johnson is an honor student, a math tutor, and one of the only black kids at Jefferson Academy. But at home she joins hundreds of thousands of black gamers who duel worldwide as Nubian personas in the secret multiplayer online role-playing card game Slay. No one knows Kira is the game developer. Not a friend, not a family, not even her boyfriend. Malcolm, who believes video games are a distraction to keep the black man from becoming great. Sounds interesting. I do want to uh, see some own voices reviews and stuff to see how people feel represented in this book because I have no clue and I want to go um, into this not completely ignorant if that makes sense at all. I, I just have no idea what it's like obviously. Um, the second book is Harley in the Sky and it is an arc. Um, it comes out 10th of March 2020. Holly Milano has dreamed of being a trapeze artist for as long as she can remember. With parents who run a famous circus in Las Vegas, she spends almost every night in the big top watching the lead aerialist perform, wishing with all her soul that she could be up there herself one day. After a huge fight with her parents uh, who continue to insist she go to school instead, Harley leaves home, betrays her family and joins the rival traveling circus Ma uh, Maison du Mystère. Is that, is that like a cinema for Cirque du Soleil? There she is thrust into a world that is both brutal and beautiful, where she learns the value of hard work, passion and collaboration. But at the same time, Harley must come to terms with the truth of her family and her past, and reckon with the sacrifices she made and the people she hurt in order to follow her dreams. Sounds good. So for beauty, um, I love the box design. I would really love for them to put the labels on the other side for once so that I can show the beautiful box because this is what I, uh, you put it on here. So I love the outer box design and it's even a really nice inside box design. I just love the simple um, strand. So we're getting some advertising with this box. The only thing that I will have to say is that the advertising sometimes is quite local. So it's about things that are happening in New York, which is not really <laughs> advertising that I can use. So I don't know if most of the people that they're selling to are living in New York so that it's worth it, but um, it would be great if they would create the advertising a little bit targeted more to a more international audience. <laughs> So the strand is definitely a well-working concept. Um, they're trying to be a little bit uh, more unique by, for example, adding a second book, which when then the YA version has f so far always been an arc. And this, in my book, qualifies for um, being unique enough so that it is a selling point because for me this is one of the major selling points that I keep continuing getting this box the Strand book hookup is one of the only boxes that are shipping from the US that I never had to pick up from customs. You can always see that um, they are opened by customs. This little marker says that they looked at it. I have to always pick it up in a store because our driver doesn't get here, but this isn't something that the box can influence. Other than that, the shipping experience is one of the best out there. Looking at the worth of the box with um, the pure cost being $37.50, I believe that we are okay. Honestly, we are really struggling to hit the cost when we, uh, when we include shipping. But for me, getting a signed copy of a book and an ARC, and these are almost always um, books within the YA, area that other boxes have not selected. Um, it's not always the case, but they're really trying to pick more diverse books and I do really appreciate that a lot. So I keep subscribing to them for these reasons, but I do believe that we are struggling to really get the worth. So you can see where this one lies in with things like the worth and if it's worth from your location. I have calculated this up so that you can see how much it would be worth getting it for from your country. This includes shipping costs to your location. So you can really see if it's worth for you to spend money on this box or not. You can also see an overall ranking compared to other boxes. 
So this is it for today. I hope you liked what you saw. Overall, we get to uh, 14 out of 25 um, stars, which doesn't sound as great, but I'm still, I love this box with all my heart, simply because I love getting arcs. I love getting this type of diverse books. And I feel like the strand really hits a certain niche that no other book box is hitting. So yeah. I really enjoyed this book and I hope book, I really enjoyed this box and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, <laughs> give me a thumbs up and hit the subscription box if you haven't done so yet. Until then, bye!